There we go. Uh, let's see. Joseki Jungle. Okay, I get to go first. Let's see. Is this an even game? Or, um, no, he has a one stone handicap, so he only gets... Uh, he doesn't get any Kami, but we have the same number of stones on the board. Let's say hello. Let's see. So we took the 4-4 four, four point. I'll go with a 4-3 here. And um, so he created a 4-3 point, so I will approach it. Um, you know, I always do low approaches. Maybe I should try the high approach for a change. He attaches underneath. Let's see, I believe you Hane on this side. And then uh, connect. Can also throw on the approach here and then come back. Then uh, jump out. So keeping with this uh, high approach, I'll play high up here. Then maybe a low approach to this stone and have a nice looking configuration over here. Yeah, so he takes that. Now that's good. So um, I should, I guess, block on this side. If he has uh, an extension, you know, and if he has an enclosure, then you block the extension. That's the, uh, the Dwyran rule. These stones are not alive as they are. He can um, approach them, um, but they can jump out. So they, have, they can either make a life here or jump out. So they're safe and don't need another stone. Um, and then I want to respond to the approach to the corner. Then um, let's uh, enclose this corner. The four three, you know, you can enclose the corner with two stones, and it actually can't even be invaded. So that's nice. But he's got two solid corners, and he's got a fraction of this one, so he's doing well here. And he's got a big corner over here. I think I will immediately <laughs> jump into the three three point, so as to keep this from growing too large. He has a big area over here with this long side and into this corner here. So um, I don't want him to get a, a similar big corner over here. Aha. Let's see. Well, let's approach. Let's hone on this side and see what he does. Connect. He does do that. I was wondering about that. Um, so should I... This doesn't look like enough space to live, does it? Uh, what should I do here? Um, try and Atari my way to freedom. If I go here, and he extends, and I cut here, I could cut here first, which uh, threatens the cut over here. So he protects that. Hmm. Yeah, we'll see. Okay, so now this threatens the um, cut over here. He protects that. So is this going to be alive if I just come down? Um, that's not a living shape. It's, uh, it's like the... Um, if I play here, he plays there. It's not alive. I must have done something wrong. I play here. He plays here, and um, you know if I block, there's still just one eye over here. There's not another eye over here. Not enough room to live. So how did this happen? <laughs> I don't know. Um, yeah, I must have done something wrong. So I can. out in this direction, I guess. And leave these stones here for Ajay. Ajay, maybe I can exploit them at some point. But uh, yeah, I don't see any way to save the corner. I think it's dead. And 
I don't think uh, I think White doesn't need to play another move there either. White can go play somewhere else. So I've given him Sente on top of everything. That's funny. You're supposed to be able to dive into the corner in a situation like that and just live there. So, so clearly I did something wrong. So he is doing that. Okay. So this is a threat. I'm threatening to play here, and if he takes it, I have a snapback capturing that stone. So he connects there. So that was a sente move. And then um, he's going to extend here. So I'm just trying to strengthen these stones and get outside influence in exchange for uh, <laughs> losing the corner here. Um, and uh, let's extend once and then block here. So I'll get a little territory over here. And he has to come back and protect if he wants to keep that territory. I mean, it's, it's pretty safe, right? So I can block here, but that looks like a small move. I think this is safe now. Um, let's... Uh, Uh, let's play in the center over here. I could also jump out on this side or protect over here. Okay, which way do I want to push the stone? Maybe in this direction. There's less room over here for that stone. And um, just going to connect here. Oh, I guess I have to worry about. Uh, if this stone, these stones are alive. Let's, let's play a couple more moves here. He ignored that. Okay, so he's going to jump out there. Let's, uh, let's jump out here. Keep these groups separated. Maybe I can, yeah, gain some mileage by harassing these stones. He didn't, he didn't make his, he did not make himself a base. Let's block here. And block here. Let's see. I see. He's trying to prove that this extension is too far. Hmm. So if I block here and he cuts and I connect, then um, he can extend and he'll have one, two, three, four liberties in this one. One, two, three, four, five liberties. So I think that's okay. Block here. He cuts. He cuts here. Um, then I block in this direction. I mean, if he cuts here, I connect in this direction, and that also has a lot of liberty. So I think I can do that. Yeah, so he just connected. Um, so now that that's connected, though, let us solidly connect over here. I want to make sure I have some eye shape here. So maybe that's the better way to connect. This is still not alive, but it's it's looking better for him. Um, I can lean on this group and then come back and Hane here. And then um, what do I want to do? Let's extend here once. I was looking a little weak if he tried to honey that group. So he jumped out. Yeah, that was the other move I was going to play, jumping out over here. So this group is separated. Let's um, block over here. Um, actually, the turn here looks good, right? Doesn't this give this these stones a lot of scope? And uh, isn't this kind of a small group for him? Maybe he lives here in the center, but it's not, not a big space. And, um, and let's see, if I Hane again and he cuts, the ladder runs into his stones. So uh, he can actually cut there. So rather than do that, um, there are moves over here. Like, why don't I play something like this to uh, 
threaten to undercut this group, kind of restrict its growth, and maybe build something over here. Then we're going to come back after that little bit of protection over here, come back and try and surround this group some more. Okay, so he went into the corner. This should not work, like I said. We'll see if he manages to fight his way out of the corner. I guess since I, I proved myself so uh, <laughs> so uh, terrible over here, he's, he's testing my uh, understanding of these corner situations. So this is something here I can... Um, I guess on this side, on on this side, connect. Okay, so is he living there? Now this is, where does this ladder go? Here, there, 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 there. It runs into one of his stones again. That's so annoying. Ah. Okay, so he's living very small if he manages to live here, which it looks like he will. Let's see, if I play here, then he plays there. I connect, he descends, so he's alive. If I play here, then he plays here. I descend, he descends, and he's alive, yeah. Okay, let's round up this stone. Make sure he stays small in the corner and, um, and then jump out over here. Yeah, so he's, he's proven himself to be quite good at these corner Joseki. So living up to his name, Joseki Jungle. Uh, let's jump out over here. Like I said, I want to keep limiting the growth of this group. Uh, he has given me lots of influence, which is... Uh, and let's just uh, back off over here. Just try and wall him off from anywhere interesting. Those stones really have nowhere to run to. So, um, but they're not running for their lives. They're just um, eating up, eating up my potential here in the center. Good thing for him to do. I'm just going to try and keep his group from, um, his groups from connecting. And I want to try and keep him from taking away my potential here. Too much of my potential. He's going to eat up some in the center here, but I'm going to try and keep some over here and, and over here maybe. Like descending over here, threatening to jump into the corner later. So he blocks. That might not have been Sente. Let's see. And playing over here. These are kind of loose, these stones here. Maybe he can cut them off from these stones. But uh, I have two ways to connect up. I can also connect up on this side. And, um, yeah, that's interesting. So let's do this. And connect it this way. block here. So if I block here and he wedges over here, I can come out over here with tempo. So he goes that way. So I can connect here. And I will. So um, let's just uh, block these, this, ease, this intruding group of stones, this snake. Block here. And here, so that stone is captured. And uh, see, I need to connect over here. Make sure these stones stay strong. Okay, so I can block here and block here.
Okay, so let's poke here. Let's poke in here. Okay, ignored that one. Let's descend here. And block here. Yeah, he's pretty good at sending this these foraging groups of stones into my group here. So that is an Atari. Let's see, that's an example. Nice play there, taking advantage of a momentary weakness there to uh, get a free move in. Let's block here. He has to connect. And uh, let's make sure these stones are connected over here to these guys. And, um, yeah, let's, uh, do I need that move? If he cuts in here, I'm still connected. Yeah, I don't need that move. Let's not play needless moves here. So, um, shoring this up seems small. What are big moves down here? Playing in under here. I can do, I cannot do the monkey jump here, but maybe I can do a knight's move here and undercut this. Maybe you could also connect over here or strengthen these connections and poke in here. So, he did respond to that. And we'll just uh, connect up like that. And um, let's see, these two are connected to these two. This is connected. Let's make sure this is connected over here. Okay, that's a kind of a wasted move because those stones are dead anyway. Although maybe, I don't know, yeah, maybe there were some tempo moves I could gain throwing in here, but this is all connected. Um, so I can play in here. Um, I was wondering about poking in here. Yeah, so he decided to connect there. Here, let's make a bamboo joint to connect that way. Let's, um, play underneath here. Connect here. Goes for the cut. So, by Atari, he extends, I block, it, it doesn't run anywhere. So he sacrifices that stone to get this one, I see. Pretty good, pretty good play. So I'll block here and block here. And um, connect here, don't need that. Let's take here. And then connect here. Okay, so that was another move he didn't need. Let's um, play in over here. What can I do in this area? Can I attach here? He cuts me off. Extend. Get Tari's. If I play over here a little bit first. Maybe I can weaken these stones and threaten to cut them off. Um, here he's gonna play the Atari, so let's connect. Okay, he got in that end game move. That was good. Good for him. Um, I can poke in here. Probably wants to connect here. He doesn't want to connect there. So if I go here and he takes my stone, and I go here, he fills in. I guess I do have to fill in. 
I think protects that cut. So I can maybe threaten to isolate these stones a little bit. The cut here. Let's wrap wrap these stones up like that. I guess the cut doesn't help. Okay, yeah, and he played in there, so he did. Ah, that was a misclick. That was just a misclick. Ah. Okay, let's play in here. So is this anything? Isn't it? I can cut here and cut here. So that's an Atari. Maybe gained me an extra. Maybe it gained me an extra move in here. Okay, let's stop that expansion over there and let's connect here. So he's going to try and <clears throat> cause more trouble over here. If I go here and he pushes in this way, it's an Atari on that stone. Very frustrating. So I have to connect an Atari here. Take those, okay. I, I thought he could have just connected. I didn't think he was gonna run into any trouble there. Let's uh, connect here and maximize the territory I got there. So, um, and then he just goes back to here. Let's complete the border over here. Take there. So how many captures? He has seven captures and I have three. And uh, so it's just really the territory on the board plus four for him. It's got a lot of territory over here along the side. I mean, it's skinny, skinny territory, but um, um, so that stone has nowhere to run. Let's just seal this stone off. So, so what is this? Um, okay, I got to connect there be really embarrassing if he lives inside over here. Just play a stone out here so he can't can't make any shape. Let's not blunder anything. Let's make sure this is connected. Is he going to really try and kill this whole group here? One, two, three, four liberties. So if I play here, one, two, three, still have four liberties. He only has three liberties. I don't know, he's trying to kill this group from the inside. Okay, I go here. Now this group has two liberties and I have three. Okay, I can connect here. Okay, what's he doing? He's just trying to live here, I guess. Can he live? I don't see it. Let's um, stop him from expanding here. Let's play a stone in the middle here so he can't make two eyes. And let's take, take these stones. So his stones are dead there, and mine are all connected. So that, that did work out for me. That's good. You should be able to protect an area like that. It's all surrounded. Okay, so now he's going to chip away at these stones here. I can 
connect this way it'll keep them from making territory over here and I have to connect this way and um, let's connect here and I can connect here okay it's an Atari on those stones okay this maximizes the border here and makes one point for me um, there's also the Hane here and here. Let's play this one. He can't cut me apart. I can take it. If he plays here, I have to connect. He just is going to surround me. Okay, let's Hane underneath here. Let's connect. Actually, I don't have to connect. Let's Hane over here. This I have to connect. <clears throat> okay, so he protected this connection over here. Yeah, I had a forcing move there, but now that's a Dame point since he connected there. So this is one point. That's a, maybe a point. Yeah, let's play that one. This is, I guess, maybe a point if I have to connect over there. There, I have to connect to that in response to that. So I find this game hard to count. I, I got this area and this area. But because he played all those stones in there, it's a little tricky to count. Um, he has this corner, which is pretty big. Yeah, I was wondering, is that a, something I have to respond to or can I play here? So I just connect, that's simplest. If he cuts, I connect here and it doesn't really go anywhere. I think I don't respond to that and I come over here. And uh, I'm ready to pass here. These stones are dead. This is dead. And um, the borders here. Um, oh, this is a point. That's a point there. Borders here are all sealed up. And uh, he plays in the middle there. Now I connect. Okay, so if I go here, if I go here, that's a self Atari. So I have to connect this way. And this has three liberties. But it's connected to this group with two eyes. So even if he manages to take away all my eyes over here or reduce it to one big eye. Um, let's see, the cut here, I connect this way and then capture. If he cuts here, I extend. He passed. Okay, I'm going to pass. I think that's that was it for this game let's see how we stand it is oh, I, I managed to win this one so that was a close game it, it's funny that I won in spite of losing that corner there It'd be interesting to check out what I did wrong in the Joseki anyway let's say good game so I won by um, um, how many points eight and a half points so even if he had Comey and we were playing an even game, I, I would have managed to eke out a win. But that was really a very close game. Uh, and interesting, too. Anyway, I'll see you guys later. Bye.